Hey everybody, it's Savage Asia, and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, Ryu and Tipo kind of went through this haunted mansion, killed a bunch of ghosts. I think we pissed them off, um, but it's fine. We're trying to rob McNeil for all of the tax money for the city of McNeil, so we'll see how that goes. But it looks like we kind of found our way up to the roof. Which, that's the little camp theme. So it's clearly nighttime now. We made it to the roof. I wonder if Ray got away okay. Look, over there, on the other roof. What are you talking about, Tipo? Oh, there's smoke. There's some smoke coming out of the chimney. That must be where McNeil is. Well, you're probably right. How are we supposed to get over there? The doors are all locked. Let's look around. There's got to be a way. So now we explore the roof. Tipo, I don't know why you were in front. You are not the leader. Oh, here's another bat. This will take us two whole seconds to kill those. So. For some reason, I thought the bats were new enemies, but they're not. We definitely saw them in the cage. They don't offer us much. It is what it is. Tipo, no, you're not in charge. So now we have to check out the roof, and we are looking for... I don't know, ways to get over to the other side. We actually need to... Noise! Let's see, I forget exactly where it is we need to go. But there's a couple items, oh it's on the next roof over. A couple items we want to get by sliding down the roof. That was another vault, so always great experience for us. We're loving it, thriving. So there's this, and then there, I think there's a freaking there's a swallow eye somewhere. <gasps> I didn't mean to jump down like that. Ooh, we have to find the swallow eye. How do we get back up up here? Hello? Do I have to like follow a certain path or some something? There we go. These bats are annoying. They're hardly worth our time. They give us no money, so it's like I almost would rather just not run into them. Is the swallow I'm thinking of? Maybe it's over here. Please be over here. Where the frick is it? Is it at the bottom? There's a swallow eye, guys, I promise. Maybe it's over here. Did I really miss it from the very beginning? That'd be silly. At this point, I'm just making more editing for myself. Alright, well, I swear I thought there was a swallow eye up here. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. It might be on the other side. I think that's what's happening here. I'm getting confused. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so now we're going to travel back all the way. Because we are foolish and should not have ran back. We just wanted the extra bat experience. <laughs> there we go. Yet another bat to ruin my life right after I make a bat joke. It's fine. But I think we want to slide like right here. Perfect. Get the grappling hook. You should be able to use it to get to the other roof. Ryu? You know that we can't get over there by ourselves. What's a grappling hook doing here? Depot! Ryu! Ray! Heck yeah, it's our boy Ray. Looks like everything went according to plan. How was it inside? Any trouble? I mean, there was some freaking... Well... I would have gone in to help you, but I had to find something first. It was pretty scary. There were a lot of ghosts and stuff, but it went pretty okay for one of your plans, I guess. Thanks, I think. So now we need to get over there. But before we do, I need you to help me find something. You mean this? 
Hey, that's my rope. That's what I figured. Kind of funny thing to be left on a roof like that. Don't you worry. With this, we'll be over there in no time. Oh, Ray. <laughs> he just <laughs> slips and then decides to run on over. <gasps> that was close. I'll just act like I did it on purpose. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. Everything's fine. And we'll just casually walk down there and uh, walk our way across. Thank you so much, Mr. Ray. That was real swift, Ray. And here I thought you were letting us do all the hard work. Fighting ghosts and everything by ourselves. Well, you were just taking it easy on the roof. And having a good time by yourself. Hey, when the going gets tough, I'm there, yeah? And then, jumping across the roof like that. Be careful you don't hurt yourself working too hard now, Ray. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Tipo. I didn't know you'd have to fight ghosts all by yourself. There, I said, I'm sorry. So, we cheer up a little? Yeah, we're pretty okay now. Sick. And we just leave our rope there. I thought always thought that was kind of odd. But now that we have Ray back, let's go ahead and get back into the attack formation with Ray on point. It is just the best thing to do at this point. Yes, yes. Alright, and so then the Swallow Eye is down here. And I'm not crazy, and we'll get it, and it's fine. <laughs> it's right over here, right? Oh my god. There's a Swallow Eye. <laughs> I promise. Do you have to, like, slide down the roof? I really thought it was down. There it is. It's right here. This is a swallow eye. There. I'm not crazy. We found it. Everything's good. <laughs> uh, ignore that that happened. Nice. Some good experience. And actually, now Ray is a level behind us, which is weird because he started off being ahead, but not anymore. I think down here is just a couple items we can get since this isn't, like, where the smoke is. Or maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, it is. That's fine. We can just do the thing then. Ah! That's my best attempt at that. <laughs> this scene is so cringy. It's always so cringy. <laughs> I'm not voicing it. You guys can read this cringy scene. <laughs> He's... Ew. <laughs> he just keeps calling her a vixen and chases her around the room all creepy. Oh, brother. Doesn't this just beat all? <laughs> who are you? Who cares who we are? We're here to take back all the money you've stolen. <laughs> he tries to push her in front. I don't have anything to do with this. Leave me out of it. She's done with you. T -t take back? What, what, what do you mean? I just... I just... Oh, come on now, Mr. McNeil. You've been cheating the people of the village out of their money so you can have your fun, haven't you? Well, here's all the ghosts we pissed off. You know, it's fine. Enough. You are a disgrace to the McNeils. That's them, right? These are the ghosts I killed. The ghosts of the old McNeils. Humph, you may have surprised us before, but that was then. Now you must face us, not this excuse for a McNeil. It's time for our s next boss. A real boss. Feel our wrath. This guy can actually be tough, so be on your toes. Almagam is his name, and he is here to ruin your life. But first, we want to pilfer from him. Tipo, there's nothing that we can learn from this guy, so we just need to straight up attack with Tipo. Let's go ahead and use Protect on Ray just to be safe. Until we can steal Magic Shard. Wow, first try. We're getting crazy lucky with that. We like it. There's always stuff worthwhile stealing from the boss. But now that we did that, we can just straight up kill him now. So at least we're using Ryu to protect. Sleep, he's going to use that throughout this whole endeavor, and it's going to be an issue. 
don't put anybody to sleep, please. We don't want to deal with that. Oh, wow. You got both the boys in the back. Fine, so I guess Ray will just have to hit you. But yeah, this guy can be kind of tough. Tough, so be on your toes. Use Ryu to kind of use protect when you want, but he also has the silver knife, so he can attack. Oh, good, we woke up and still do a lot of damage. Those silver knives are going to be huge. If you wanted to maybe fish and get a third silver knife for Ray to make this particular battle easier for you, look, because yeah, Ryu and Tipo are doing more damage to this guy than Ray is at this point, which is wild. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to do that. You could. I don't think it's really worth it necessarily. This guy can be kind of tough, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Just have Ryu heal when you need him to heal. And Ray can use some healing herbs because he's the fastest if you really want. But I think everybody's fast enough to really not worry about that too much. And just take him down. Noise 41 from Tipo. It's wild damage. Usually what I end up doing is standing here forever trying to pilfer, and I'm pretty sure that's all he has. Let's check again. I'm trying to get that magic shard, and I can never get it, and that's usually where I end up prolonging this fight. Yeah, he has nothing left. But we got it first try, so we're getting way lucky. <coughs> Astral Warp, that'll mess you up. Yikes. I always wish you can learn that, but you straight up can't. One of your dragon forms later, because... Spoiler alert, we can turn into dra into a dragon in this game. Like, I think they kind of made that obvious. At some point, we'll be able to do that, and one of them has that Astral Warp ability, and it's pretty neat, but you can't learn it like a skill, which is unfortunate. Ouch. Tipo, Tipo. That kind of hurt. Oh, there we beat him. I was going to say we got to do some major healing, but uh, we took care of him. And everybody gets a level. Great times. Ray is level 8. Tipo becomes level 9. We are level 9 as well. Ryu, nice. We beat him. Wasn't too bad. What, 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 what's going on? I, 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 was, I just never... Yikes. Take it easy, old man. Those were your ancestors. We're just here to take your money, okay? You're pretty dumb, aren't you? Hurry up and show us where the money is. The, the, the money's over there, there. P -p -p please, don't kill me. Oh, p -p -p please. Hey, Ryu. Come take a look at all this dough. Oh, lordy. You wimp. What a jerk. Those robbers are a lot more manly than you are. <laughs> He's crying. Just you wait. We'll see who has the last laugh. You little brats. Alrighty then. I'll show you who has the real power here. Little did the heroes of the Cedar Woods know. Looks like they dropped off all the money in front of everybody's door. The real trouble wouldn't begin until the next day. The real trouble? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Ray? That McNeil looks so silly. There's no one who can beat us. We're the best. I don't know if I'd go that far. But I'd say things went pretty well last night, eh? I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see what we've done. Yep, even the people in the village will start treating us with respect now. You bet they will. We haven't stolen anything lately. We got rid of the new. Come on, let's go to the village. I want to hear everyone tell us how grateful they are. Alright, so we're gonna go to the village. There's a couple things we want to do before then. Let's see. But we want to, first we want to go over to Migus again and hope that I got enough levels for the thing that I want right now. 
this really isn't crucial at all, but it's kind of nice to have moving forward. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute. But pretty much the all the masters in the game are based off of level, so the more levels that you gain underneath their tutelage, you'll end up learning a spell. And I'm hoping that Tipo was underneath Migus enough, and I think we got three level ups. Which I think is the magic number for what I want, and he should teach us a spell. Mage Goo, get out of here. I think, and if I have to grind up one more level, I literally might. <laughs> Just because it's nice to have. But let's see. So let's go check out with Mr. Migus first. Hello. Are you going to do the teaching? Are you? Did you teach me spell or no? Welcome back, my students! Tipo, you deserve a reward. Therefore, I give you this. Learned Frost. No, there's no one else that wants to study under you. Is that all you're going to teach me? No. Farewell. Come back after you've gotten stronger. Do you teach him the other one, too, or no? Welcome back, my students. No? Okay, so give me one sec here. People... Shut up, guy. So, Tipo hasn't gained enough levels for the thing that I want to do right now, but it's fine. It's honestly fine. For right now, it's fine. So then the next thing we want to do... Is... We want to start at our camp. Well, no, actually, let's just go to the town for now. For now. Then we'll do camp. Hello, everybody. Do you love us, or what? You break into McNeil's house and take his money? And then scatter it all over town? What were you thinking? What do you mean? Aren't you happy? Hello? Well, let's go check in with that guy at the barn, right? What was his name? Loki? He's the one that wanted us to do this in the first place, so I'm sure he's going to give us a reward. Hello. He hello, Ray. N nice weather, eh? Hey, Loki. We did just like you said. We gave McNeil's money to everybody. Shh. Don't say that so loudly. People will hear you. If McNeil finds out, he'll kill me. Wh what are you so afraid of, anyway? You said McNeil was the bad guy. Alright, alright. Just don't talk about that here. We can talk about it in the hut. You go ahead, okay? Alright, well, let's go wait in the hut for him, I guess. Ray? Something's wrong. We'll get that Loki fellow to explain what's going on. Yeah, do th things do seem a little off. A cow. Bunyan. But but bunyan I was hired to take care of the cows. So whatever I say is going to be to the cows. What's going on? We're waiting for Loki. Hey, cow. Did you hear that fellow Loki thought he could have an easy life if he got a hold of McNeil's money? But... He didn't know that McNeil was working for a big gang of crooks that doesn't like being stolen from. Sounds pretty dangerous, doesn't it, cow? McNeil works for a gang? What does he mean, Ray? It means we shouldn't be hanging around here for too long. I think we should be getting back home, quick. All right, well, let's run home. Oh, run. We need to get to our home. Because apparently a big gang is associated with McNeil. They don't like being stolen from us. And, um... You know, we we probably pissed them off. Let's be real. We probably pissed them the hell off. It happens sometimes. Alright, so now we want to go to camp. Right? Lake Camp. Lake Campe. Yes, please. And I believe we have one skill ink. 
Let's hope we do. Tipo, what do you say? Did you hear what they said? We should probably go back home. And lie low until all this blows over. Yeah, probably a good idea. But first, we want to look at skill notes. Yes, we have one ink. Thank God. All right, let's... Wait. Do I have to wait until... No, everybody should be in our party right now. We want to look at skill notes. I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. Change skill. Use skill ink? Yes. So we want to go to Tipo. Let's take jump off of him. Charge off of him. Oh, and frost. Take all of his skills off because he learned some. As far as Ryu, you can keep burn. You can keep snap. We might as well give you charge and jump. Because why not? We'll keep frost in there. And honestly, we'll keep burn in there. We won't be using burn. Sorry, I have to organize. You know how I am. I'm a little weird about stuff like this, and they have to be in order. But I do like snap on him, so we'll keep it like that. But we want to do adjust those, and then we also... Let's go ahead and rest. We want to rest real quick. So then it is daytime. So we just have to, for this next part, go to Tipo and Ray and make sure that you have, like, Ray still has a bollock knife on, that's fine. Take off those bracers, take off, just take off their things. Don't ask me questions. We'll save that silver knife, give him a bollock knife instead, and just take everything off. Don't worry about it, okay? So now let's run home. Which, actually, the closest way to our house is up this way. Up and around the corner here in the cedar woods. So we want to run home real quick. Otherwise, we don't know. We just want to kind of lay low. Oh, it's the boss goblin, but he's going to run away. Might as well kill him. I think that's the first time we killed a boss goblin. That's actually interesting. If he had lackeys, I would have had Ryu try to learn influence still. Which we'll run into him again. I mean, boss goblins are everywhere. It's just annoying that we haven't gotten that one yet. Like, we've gotten so lucky with other things. What the hell? Our house is on fire! What, what the... What's going on? What happened? Ray! Hmm. I was wondering what our thieves might look like. They're just a bunch of kids, ain't they, bro? No worries, say eh, Sunder. Meet Balio and Sunder. The, um, you know, upcoming villains of the game. Time for school. A lesson in the school of life, eh? You mean you? That's right. You're a little too big for your britches, my boy. Now it's time for your spanking, so get over here. Hey, check it out, bro. They're gonna try and fight. Kids. They just don't want to do what they t they're they told, do they? So now it's time to fight Balio and Sunder, who lit fire to our house. Let's go ahead and try to pilfer from them. Tipo, go ahead and use Simoon. And Ryu, you can attack, and let's see how this works out for us. Did we get anything from him? Couldn't steal it. Dang. It's okay, we'll try again. Simoon him. Try to get some good damage off. 41. Not bad, Tipo. Not bad. He. Ooh, and yeah. They strike hard. Lightning. That's like, like a tier 2 spell. So let me just tell you right now this is going to be one of those battles where you're meant to lose. So don't waste your resources healing or anything. If you can steal from Sunder right now, steal from Sunder. Uh, from Balio, I mean, right now, do it. Um, but short of that, just don't waste your materials healing. Dang, we didn't get it from him. That's okay. I'm not too worried about this. This particular item theft. So, no harm, no foul there. Okay. 
You're meant to lose. And suddenly, we just wake up here. With like sad, like disoriented music. I think this music is perfect for this time of the game because you wake up and you're like, what the hell? Is this all I found was you alone and wounded in the woods? No way. I always told you you'd get in trouble one day. But I never thought something like this would happen. I'm afraid Tipo and Ray are... Yeah, they're probably dead. Where do you think you're going? Looking for them? I mean, yeah, I guess. Windia? Did you say you were going to Windia? I see. You watch yourself, hear me? Just follow the road east. And so, yeah, that's it. We're going to Windia, because, you know, Tipo always talked about wanting to run off to Windia one day, and if anything happened here, it would make sense for them to run there. So, we're going to check out Windia, but first, we want to go back to the Cedar Woods. I promise you, this is important. And we want to... Oh, our first battle by ourselves. Uh. Oh, it's just an Igu. <laughs> no one cares. <coughs> we scattered the enemy. Quick, while we're still semi-low level, we want to run to our boy Bunyan. Chopping wood here, just chilling. And after you part with Tipo and Ray, because, you know, they're we pretty much think they're dead. But they might be at Windia, so we're going to go search. But, uh, yeah, he will be a master. The straight and narrow. See, so you want to hear my advice? Yes. <laughs> I guess you're sincere enough. Listen up. You need to be strong and tough. You can't get through life otherwise. Got it? So we're going to put Ryu as Bunyan's pupil. We're going to use Bunyan as our master on Ryu. So our power, defense, and strength will go up faster. But in trade, our AP and intelligence won't go up as quickly. But I still think this is the smartest thing to do right now. Oh, anyone else? There is nobody else. What? I've already taught you all I know. Go on, come back when you've increased your level. So we'll come check in with Bunyan periodically. He'll teach us more spells. And so that'll be good. He'll just teach us more stuff. It'll be wonderful for our us and it to turn Ryu into more of like a big tanky boy who has a lot of power and can really hit. Speaking of which, since we parted ways with them and we want to make sure we have the best stuff equipped. Claw shield's the best, bandana's the best, leather armor's the best thing we have, and we just have a talisman, so that's fine. Just want to make sure you have the best equipment total, because now we want to travel to the east over here, which is, this is where Bunyan told us to go. We're going to go looking for Tipo and Ray in Windia, potentially. But first, we have to get through my Mount Myrneg. This mountain can actually be a little bit tougher, and we're coming close on time, so we probably won't go through this entire mountain, but we can explore it a little bit here. But here's the first enemy we have run into, Nut Troop. We actually want to examine him. The Nut Troops have Double Blow, which he was nice enough to use right away, but we weren't lucky enough to learn it. These boys have Double Blow. Ooh, actually, and I should have kept Burn on myself. I'm so stupid. Because Burn can kill these Nut Troops in, like, one hit. Otherwise, they have super high evasion. But I guess I'm SOL there because I did that to myself. I should get Burn on. Sir, please use Double Blow. Literally, just kind of harmless. If this gets too brewing, I guess I'll freaking speed it up. Unless he runs out of AP at some point, but you want to learn double blow, please. Ugh, he's not giving us crap. Please let us learn double blow. Seems like he uses it every other turn. Well, I guess I'll probably speed this up if it takes too long. Wow, you didn't even use it that turn. How are you? You want to read a sub? Come on, you still blow. Where are we learning it? I'm having bad luck. Let's see, like I said, we're just going to say this, so I'll speed it up until we get it. But we're going to need to learn this. Oh, now he doesn't have enough AP for it. Fine. So now we'll just kill you. 
Nice. So he gives us 15 experience. It's not the best, not the worst. But let's go ahead and climb up here. I forget. Is there an item up here? No. No, there's not. There certainly is not. Alright, and then we want to run this way. Ooh, and I should have given him frost. I should have put all the skills on Ryu. I don't know what I'm doing. Stupid. Found an icicle. That's good. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. My name's Tarman. If you're interested, I can tell you all about different creatures. Weak points, sure. Well, for example, the Igu. Their weak spots are their eyes, so if you hit them with blind, maybe something will happen. Think about it. What would happen to the nut people if you hit them with fire? They would die instantly. And don't use frost magic on us, please. Yeah, the Tarman, you should use frost magic. But I didn't put frost on Ryu because I'm a fool. I kind of forgot. Ooh, the Ripper. Let's see if we can learn blind from you. He's just not getting into us. Really soft. You just refuse to learn to use blind Ripper? Oh, yes, and we learned it. Sick. So now we have blind. Neat, that was one of the skills that's been on our list of things to do, and I wanted to get that done, so I'm glad we did. Noise. A little bit more experience for us. And money. Let's see, there's no items over here, right? No. We'll explore here for a little bit. Let's see, over this way. This is the tar man, and this is what I was telling you, because, like, look, when we hit him normally, it's going to do, like, nothing. If you had frost, you should use it on this guy. I'll actually, just to show it off, if you had frost, which I don't, but let's use this icicle that we got. Otherwise, we'll be running from these guys. It kills him. Otherwise, it would turn them hard, and then you can hit them for a lot. And look, 70 experience for those boys. It's great grinding opportunities if you can remember to freaking do it. Unlike me, who is apparently extremely forgetful. Just kidding. We knew I was extremely forgetful. There's a little item over here. Protein. But anyways, we'll leave it off right there, guys. We'll continue climbing the rest of Mount Myronegg in the next episode. Make sure to hit that like button down below. The support always really means a lot. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next episode.